This episode was brought to you by Squarespace. Hey, so what's your favourite prime number? Because mine is 937, and why you ask? Well, it's a good, lucky, fortunate, happy and star prime number. And this isn't some kind of pseudoscience or numerology hoax. Welcome to the wonderful world of recreational maths. Okay, so 937 is a prime number, and it is in fact many, many types of prime, from an immerp, which means that it is still a prime number even when reversing the digits, to a nine-ish number, which I'll admit I still don't quite know what that means, but it has nothing to do with it starting by nine. However, I'm going to be focusing on its prime positive characteristics. So what does it mean to be a good, happy, lucky, fortunate and star prime number? Well, let's start simple. What is a happy number? A happy number is one that upon adding up its digits until you end up with a single digit number is one, and anything else is a sad number. And as you can see, 937 is very much a happy number, and because it is prime, it's a happy prime number. Now let's discuss lucky and fortunate, which, by the way, are two different things in the number world. Lucky numbers are calculated following a sieving mechanism. Most of you will be aware of the sieve of Aristosthenes, which is essentially the algorithm for finding all of the prime numbers. You remove every second number from the start of the sequence, then every third number, and so on. And the numbers that are remaining are the primes, as they are only divisible by themselves and one. Now, the sieve used for locating the lucky numbers actually share some similarities and some differences. First of all, you start from the beginning and you remove every other number, starting from 2. So, bye bye even numbers! Having done that, we move on to the next number in the sequence. The second number in the sequence is 3, so starting from the beginning, we start from the third number, which is 5, and eliminate every third number from those remaining. The next number in the sequence is 7, so starting from the beginning, we eliminate every seventh number, starting from the current seventh number in the sequence, which is 19. And those remaining are known as the lucky numbers, and amongst them is 937. Now, the fortunate numbers are actually named after Rio Fortune. In maths lingo, a fortunate number n is um, a minimum integer n greater than 1, such that the nth primorial plus n are prime, and in English that means that you break your computer trying to calculate much beyond the 8th or 9th fortunate number. However, ignoring all of that, it's actually a very simple algorithm. A primorial is the prime version of a factorial. A factorial is the product of consecutive natural numbers starting from 1, so a primorial is the product of consecutive prime numbers starting from 2. The first primorial is 2, the second is 2 times 3, which is 6, the third is 2 times 3 times 5, which is 30, and as you can see, they very quickly turn into very humongous numbers that break computers. So in essence, the first fortunate number would be the first number greater than 1, that when added to the first primorial would yield a prime number. So 2 plus 2 is 4, not a prime. 2 plus 3 is 5, aha, uh -huh, that is a prime, so 3 is the first fortunate number. The second is the lowest number, strictly greater than 1, added to 2 times 3, 6, that yields a prime number. So it's not 2, not 3, not 4, but 5 yields 11, which is prime. So 5 is the second fortunate number. And one of the interesting things about the fortunate number sequence is that they aren't strictly ascending. The numbers actually wiggle around, but overall they do have an ascending trend. And after all, if the number you are adding on is equal to any of the factors in the primorial, by adding it onto the primorial you aren't actually creating a prime number, so it does make sense for it to be that way. And anyway, 937 is the 139th and 145th fortunate number. But anyway, moving on, what is a good prime number? Well, a good prime is one whose square is greater than the product of any two primes at the same number of positions before and after it. So let's take a look. As always, let's ignore 1 and as such 2, and we're going to start with 3. The product of the prime before it 2 and the one after it 5 is 10, and that is greater than 3 squared, which is 9, so 3 is a bad prime. However, for the next prime 5, it squares 25, which is greater than 3 times 7, 21, and 2 times 9, 18, so 5 is a good prime. And there are an infinite number of good primes, and 937 is very happy indeed to be one of them. And finally, what is a star prime? Well, mathematically, the nth star number is given by 6n squared minus 6n plus 1, which is a very opaque way of putting it, but you can represent star numbers graphically, literally in the shape of a star. And yes, they can technically be represented as centered dodecagonal numbers, but I've decided that the stars are much prettier. And of course, 937 is a star prime. 
And what is even more interesting is that 937 was the only prime number I could find that is star, good, happy, lucky, and fortunate prime. Well, at least out of the first 5,033 primes, because there are only so many fortunate numbers that have been calculated. And because 937 is a prime number with a prime number of positive attributes, I decided to call it a primarily awesome number. Of course, in doing so, it now no longer has a prime number of attributes, so perhaps I should only be using numbers that have two positive attributes, because then when being granted that extra one, they still have a prime number of primarily awesome numbers. So and an ace babbled on and on about primes until Squarespace came along to distract her. If you're seeking to make the next move in your career, such as show off your list of prime numbers, build a shrine for 937, or more realistically, show off your portfolio work, you want a professional website. Squarespace allows you to use their simple and beautiful templates to show off your work in the most primarily awesome way possible. And fortunately for you, if you go to squarespace.com forward slash draw curiosity, you can build your own website using the two week free trial and get 10% off at checkout with the code DC. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this episode and by the way I would love to know which is your favourite prime number and if you're mathematically inclined see if you can find any other prime errorly awesome numbers out there. There are many other amazing types of primes such as the sexy primes, the harmonic primes, the super primes and the safe primes which I think have many positive characteristics too. And as always thank you so much for watching me and I'll see you in the next one.